Hello, welcome to CWI Port B Practical Book of Specification BOS Lecture. This is Lecture 9. Today I'm going to give a lecture about Chapter 3. Chapter 3, the title of Chapter 3 is Workmanship Requirements and Visual Inspection Acceptance Criteria for Pipeline. Chapter 2, title of the chapter 2 is Workmanship Requirements and Visual Inspection Acceptance Criteria for Structure Steel. Chapter 3 is Pipeline and Chapter 4 is Workmanship Requirements and Visual Inspection Acceptance Criteria for Pressure Piping. So Chapter 2, 3, and 4, the title of this Chapter 2, 3, 4 are the same except this Structure Steel pipeline and uh, pressure piping okay 3.1 workmanship requirements 3.1.1 edge preparation details and fit up dimensions should be as specified in the WPS what it means is here okay let's say We have a WPS here, Welding Procedure Specification, WPS, this is WPS, and here in WPS Joint Section here, and in the Joint Section you can see the uh, detailed joint sketch. So the sketch shows this R, R means root opening, and this data is groove angle and this 30 degrees 30 degree is the bevel angle and thickness of the base metal is 10 millimeter and the length of this here to there is 100 millimeter so this kind of detailed information of the joint should be should be specified in the WPS and actual world month to fit up something like this kind of fit up should be made by should be made according to the WPS this is 3.1.1 and 3.1.2 the beveled end should be smooth and uniform so the beveled end this part this part should be smooth and uniform something like this triangle shape this should be uniform so the other triangle make the the whole triangle something like uniform formation Three point one point three: The alignment of butting and shear minimize the offset between surfaces. For pipe ends of the same nominal thickness, the offset should not exceed three millimeter. So offset is in this pipe welding. I don't see any offset. This number one pipe and number two pipe are about it approximately the same there is no alignment difference just parallel to each other so there is no I can say there is no offset but here if I make a line here I can see slight offset here this much this is offset and the maximum offset is 3 millimeter three point one point four The number of filler and finish bed should allow the completed world a substantially uniform cross-section around the circumference of the pipe. Uh, 
at no point should the crown surface fall below the outside surface of the pipe nor should it be raised above the parent matter by more than 2 mm. The number of, fi number of filler and finish beads should allow completed with substantially uniform cross section. So the uniform cross section means this kind of triangle thingy here this is kind of uniform cross section and this uniform cross section should be made all around the entire circumference this, this triangle here triangle another triangle here another triangle another triangle the all triangles are uniform cross section then this 3.1.4, the first sentence is satisfied. And at no point crown surface. Crown means crown is the same as reinforcement. So, the last lecture in lecture uh, 8, I said from the surface of that plate to the top of the weldment, this distance is the reinforcement. But the same meaning of the reinforcement is crown. So, crown is the reinforcement, same thing. So the at no point crown surface fall below the outside surface of the pipe, which means at no point this crown surface shall not fall below inside of the plate base matter, nor should it be raised above the parent matter by more than two millimeter. So maximum reinforcement. Here in the pipeline application is two millimeter. Three point one point five. Uh, actually, before I go to three point one point five, I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna show you the uh, sample question for the crown surface. So the actual CWI part B exam, you are, this kind of uh, group plate is given to you and examine G4. And here, this is G4. And the question says, just measure the crown, which is the reinforcement of the G4 and check the this crater here and another crater here. Check the depths of the depths of this crater and this crater. And if the depth is more than zero, that means this base metal plate, base metal plate and the word mirror this word matter the crown surface is four the crown surface falls below the base matter surface and that's not correct according to this 3.1.4 here at no point should the crown surface fall below the outside surface of the pipe this one here And one thing you need to check is this part, crown surface raised above the top of the surface of the pipe. Just check the reinforcement by VWAC gauge, uh, something like here. This VWAC gauge, use this one, check this reinforcement like here 
and if this reinforcement reading measurement is more than two millimeter that's reject but less than two millimeter that's acceptable this is how you measure the uh, reinforcement and crown and in the actual question in the CWA exam part B you see this 3.1.4 reinforcement measurement question so think about this 3.1.4 and remind it and 3.1.5 is the adjacent bead share neither be started nor terminated at the same location and this 3.1.5 is also important because just because this 3.1.5 is in the actual CWB question adjacent bead should neither be started nor terminated at the same location which means we have a pipe wording circumferential wording and here you can see this kind of mark where the word bead stopped terminated so 3.1.5 means neither be started nor terminated at the same location the bid so this word bid should not be stopped on the same line as you can see this is the end point another end point and probably this is the end point and pass number one bid number one bid number two three four five so make a line here then termination of the bid should not be in the same line on the same line if the termination of the bid on the same line that's reject this kind of stuff is acceptable start as well and the same question for this 3.1.5 the termination and start not the same location and something like this yes. this is the actual replica plast plastic replica for the pipe specimen and here it says p3 pipe 3 and upstream just examine one between one and three which is not acceptable when you this a bit here in between one and three you can see end point like here can you see this ripple like this and here as well direction of this ripple is this way then the direction of the welding is the opposite way. So this is this is the end point of the world. And and this bead end beads are terminated on the same line, same location. So this is not acceptable. So 3.1.5 adjacent bead should neither be started nor terminated at the same location. Important. 3.1.6 The face of the completed world should, should be no more than 3 mm wider than the width of the original group. What it means is here. this is the original groove and word is made here then whips of the groove assuming this is 10 then face where the face width should not be three millimeter wider than 
this group width so 13 millimeter is the maximum width of the face of the world the face of the completed world should, like, should be no more than 3 millimeter wider than the width of the original groove 3.1.7 the completed world including parent material should be thoroughly brushed and cleaned and all spatter should be removed see all kind of spatter something like this this kind of spatter this round thingy is this spatter this spatter should be completely removed and the word month should be brushed and cleaned that's 3.1.7 3.1.8 arc bonds. Arc bonds on the parent metal surface. Parent metal surface are unacceptable. So if you see the arc bond on the parent metal, something like this, this is arc bond, and this is arc bond, and in the plastic replica of the pipe this is arc bond arc bond is not acceptable okay this is 3.1.8 uh, I'm gonna stop here today and next lecture I'm gonna start from 3.1.9 repair and removal of defects thank you for listening my lecture and I see you next time